My deafness is pretty extreme. I became totally deaf 52 years ago. And right now I am deaf as a doorpost. I mean, language is such bloody chaos when you're deaf. Lip reading, it's difficult. A lot of words look alike on the lips. When you say the word vacuum, it looks like you're saying, fuck you. I mean, uh, it's so easy to get things so wrong. So for decades, I've been asking people to write down what they're saying. That's a practical way of communicating. At one point, I started saving the paper. So one day, I spread them on the floor of my studio and tried to learn from them. I could not invent these papers if I wanted to. This was in the early 1990s, and we were coming out of the first Gulf War. And the stock market crash of 1987 pretty much had put an end of the megalomania of the 1980s. Most of the artists I knew at the time were working with very modest materials on a modest scale, like Tony Fairs and curtain sculptures, Felix Gonzalez Torrey's candy pieces, and the conversations mere scraps of paper somehow fit into the scheme of things. And a bit of a detour now. We normally think of conversation as something linear, like maybe in a Tolstoy novel. When we stop and think about it, that's not how we communicate. We cross words on top of each other words. We get fragments, bits and pieces. We're missing context. For words, phrases, syllables get dropped. When I first started working with the conversations, I realized that they really weren't writing. It's more a form of talking on paper, something that occupies the space between speech and writing, without being one or the other. 